All right, who is ready to see some hinged behavior? This update has put a weapon into the game. It was in the, uh, in the game for a while, but there's no way to, to obtain it. And that weapon is the Holy Blade. How do you obtain the Holy Blade? Search for Holy Blade 3. I'm looking for Weapon 3. Weapon 3. Special. I can get this from a crate or a special monster. With Crusader on it. It drops with Crusader on it. So that's between 80 and 100. And between 100 and 120. So it is now in the game. You can now use it. Now, of course, I'm Blade. Holy Blade. Of course, the memes start coming. So, and it was shared with us in the speedrunning Discord. I don't think it was made by Le Chat, but it was shared by Le Chat. Le Chaton, a fellow Stardew Valley streamer. Here, yeah, this was made. Holy Blade. So, of course, I've got to go one further. Do you like my Holy Blade? Let's go kill some monsters. I'm not as powerful as I thought I was. Ah! Apparently you can't deflect the ghost puking on you, which I suppose makes sense. I thought I'd be much more powerful than that. But yeah, I got a holy blade. Not only that, there is a weapon that's been in the game for a while now. It's the ossified blade. Ossified being fossilized. Another one I could do is the elf blade. These are the only two I've done so far. But I could do elf blade. What other blades are there? Templar's blade. Wooden blade. So yeah, this. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> the holy blade is on Nexus. I've yet to upload the ossified blade. What Discord had to say about that. Brilliant use of the, of the meme. I've been hard at work on something new since 1.6 came out. Code diving and updating the predictor, right? Code diving and updating the predictor, right? But yeah, holy blade, ossified blade. Desert. A festival. There's a lot to look at for the desert festival. There is a new festival in spring. 15th, 16th and 17th is the festival. They make a temporary staircase down here and they rapidly remove it when the festival's over. What are you doing Gordon? Do you want down? You can get down. Thank you for joining us. Yeah there's been a huge setup happened here in the desert. Most of the big things here happen in the Skull Cabins. Whole heap of new NPCs, traveling carts at the desert. Oh, this is normal. You've got some strange creatures here. You've got a horse and a shoe, a scorpion and a chicken. Sandy comes out and she just stands here. You've got a guy who can't keep his hand still. You've got someone sitting in a chair having a drink that you can't talk to We've got a couple of booths here can we go into the oasis today we can willie comes here he has a challenge catch some sandfish hey there blade welcome to adventures guild challenge booth every day we'll have a pair of challenges for you to choose from complete one and the guild will reward you with a bounty of calico eggs once you select the challenge you won't be able to change your decision so choose wisely welcome to the skull cavern challenge calico eggs and mysterious calico statues have appeared throughout the caverns your egg rating determines the likelihood of finding calico eggs. Egg rating increases every five levels down as well as when if you activate a calico statue. But be careful, the calico statues will also invoke various strange and dangerous effects. Visit Guild to receive prizes for achieving a high egg rating. Where do you choose the challenges? From here. Oh, it's pointed to that sign. The center skull cavern and slay 10 purple slimes for 35 eggs. Collects 12 Omni Geos from the skull cavern. 40 eggs. So you've got quests there, you've got a quest here. You have people, why aren't they, why aren't they here yet? The Desert Festival is now open. Shoe biscuit, because it's in a shoe. We have Emily. I'm sensing that your fashion doesn't quite match your inner feeling. Just step into the box and we'll fix you up. I don't think the game's supposed to do this. Maybe don't step into the box when going at super speed is what I'm getting from that. Because I think the game is soft locked. I might be able to get out of it. Well, I got out of the festival, but I'm I don't have control of my farmer. 
Okay, let's try that again. If it really is the speed that caused that, I wonder if we can do that vanilla. So I'm going at movement speed 10 and it messed that up. It's because my backpack's full and it's because I entered not quite, not quite lined up in the middle. So here, it just sends me back down, but if I'm slightly off, it tries to sense me on the tile before going down. And because my move speed was so fast, I kept on missing the middle of the tile. Okay, so with the speed of one, very easy to get, it doesn't happen. With the move speed of two, also easy to get, doesn't happen. Move speed of three, you can get by talking to the food guy up there, doesn't happen. Move speed of four, you can get with coffee, spicy eel and savage ring buff, doesn't happen. Move speed of five, now we're getting into the spur territory, like the iridium spur. Now for that, unsuitable location, okay, I thought you might be able to hatch a slime here in order to get, get that bonus. Does it last long enough if you kill it somewhere, warp here and run down? What's the speed buff of the of the spur trinket? Hey, no, let's let's test what the speed is first. So move speed of six is fine. Move speed of seven is fine. Okay, you're not going to be able to get this in vanilla. Move speed of eight is fine. Move speed of nine. You need to get a movement buff of nine to have this issue. It's not going to give me back control until it gets me into the center. Well, that's how you get out of it. You pull up that menu. Okay, good to know. Dang, I was hoping that we were going to be able to be able to do that in vanilla. Anyway, what does Emily here do? Before we continue, let me visualize your aura to see what kind of style will make you happiest. Oh. Yes, I see. Okay, I've got it. I'm coming in, so don't be alarmed. Ah! Sandy stands guard. <laughs> Sorry if that tickles. Oi, don't cut my hair. Ow. What has she made me? I can feel it. You're in a self and out of self and now I'm self and now in perfect alignment. I can't wait for you to see the new you. Oh, you gotta run it yourself. It's an ossified blade. <laughs> I'm me, and I've got a mini me. She made me into an ossified blade. Perfect. Dark ball cat skeleton shirt, tight pants. Yes, yeah, so I've got my outer self, and I'm holding my inner self. Oh, you just, you just made them in alignment. We have villagers here to trade calico eggs for different things. Harvey's mallet, all of the marriageable candidates' weapons are now in the game. You can trade for them. Like, <laughs> didn't notice I got a penis frying pan in my inventory already. And a number of other things, coffees. George over here sells, also sells coffee. Vinegar, morale, artifact troves, a retro TV. People come visit on different days. These crazy creatures here do a race. This guy here, Chef, makes the things you choose two ingredients. Well, we'll look to see what happens with each of these. I believe the most common thing that we're going to do is rare fruit and uncomfortably hot sauce because that makes a dish. Rumpled fruit skin that you just eat right away and it gives you a plus one speed and plus three luck. And it's free. Egg Trader. Woodcutters Weekly. 250 foraging XP for 100 eggs. Another statue furniture. Eh, don't care about those. Strawberry seeds is an interesting one to be able to get here. Mega Bombs. There's a quiz person over here. So there's a lot of things here that would be good to know the mechanics behind. Which element here do we want to look at first to see how it works? We can start with the food. That's a pretty easy one to look at. Food! Okay, what's going to be a way to find it? I'm going to search for rare fruit. Cook ingredient two. So now we search for where this key is used. 
loop through five times and then it appends the number to it and then gets the string for it. Ah, up here, up here. This looks interesting. Choose source. If question answer starts with choose source. Cook ingredient. Got cook ingredient and you got cook source. So the ingredient either gives you three defense, three mining level, three luck level, three attack, three fishing level. So there is the rare fruit. And I suppose we can match these up if we need to. Hearty beans is defense. Cave loaf is mining level. Rare fruit is luck. Extremely sharp cheddar is attack. And shrimp is fishing level. And then for the sauces, rich marinara is defense. One to defense. So you can get four defense in total. Mushroom and cream, mining level, so you can get four mining level in total. Cherry syrup is also luck level, so you can get a luck, le luck level boost of four. Pungent garlic is attack, attack value of four as well. Uncomfortably hot sauce is the speed. I think speed is more valuable than the extra luck there. So you can get a luck level of three and a speed of one. So that's where all those buffs come in. And then all the different combinations of the ingredients have their own name here. Earthy mousse, sweet bean cake, skull cave casserole, spiky tacos, mountain chili, crystal cake, cake kebab, hot log, sour salad, superfood cake, warrior smoothie, rumpled fruit skin, calico pizza, stuffed mushrooms, elf quesadilla, nachos of the desert, chia pino, is that how you say that one? Rainforest shrimp, shrimp donut, smell of the sea, desert gumbo. So that's food. What next? Let's look at the race. Desert Festival. Race. Race text. Announce race event. We just had that happen. Ready, set, go. Racer. We have races. French racer and net races. Sabotages. Apply the sabotages to the racer. And our last race winner is set. Okay, let's see what the sabotages actually do. I have no idea how the race works, by the way. I love the stuff that we've looked at on stream. I have an idea. This is one of the things that I have no idea as to how it works. So let's see how well we do. Racer has its own full class. Last position, position, direction, segments, jump segments, jumping, tripping, move speed, min move speed, max move speed. A lot of stuff that does reset move speed, speed burst. Update race progress, pass in the desert. Current race state is go and people haven't finished yet. If there is a burst duration going on at the moment, then your move speed is max. If you haven't burst, if you finish your burst, burst duration. If you're working towards a burst, you're slowing down, and then you have a then you have a speed burst. Burst duration is random between 0.25 and one second. Extra luck. Extra luck so i've seen sabotage but i haven't seen anything about extra luck next double plus extra luck plus then that works against because if you add on to the result of this number it is less likely to be under that value but if you hit that then your duration is doubled if your index is three Okay, what is the race index? If it's three, it's cut in a quarter. Could it be if that's in the lead? And your move speed is set to max. So your best set a duration and your move speed gets set to max. Race index, where are you set? In the constructor, where do the constructors happen? Final references. Set it festival day. Okay, so races is a collection that just contains numbers between zero and the number of total races. And then for each racer, set them up with a racer index. Racer index has also got to be related to who the racer is. Because I didn't see anything there setting up, giving it a name or anything. Draw. Where's your sprite pulled from? Texture. This underscore texture. Texture is desert races. Let's have a look at that file then. Here are the races, all five of them. Where is it chosen? Racer index. Racer index is who the racer actually is. Zero, one, two, three, four. Racer index zero, one, two, three, four. Now, 
one particular racer index had a quarter of a speed boost if it's racer three then the burst duration is quartered that's the snail the snail's burst is quartered does he have a does he have a benefit elsewhere has a slower min move speed a slower max move speed do you get any benefit at all i'm not seeing a benefit of choosing the snail snails are slow heard it here first okay what's this extra luck okay it's just a random number between these two you want it to be negative nothing else affects that that's weird what happens in here next burst burst duration next burst speed burst so here it's bad because it halves it potential to also be quartered as well as halved sorry snail but here it's doubled if your burst duration is done next burst ah there's your snail benefit you want this to hit snails burst more the burst duration is less but they burst more the time for the next burst is caught at the field of snail halved if you hit that okay sabotages sabotages if you are greater than last place if you are not in last place and a random roll that gets more likely if you're sabotaged then trip sabotaging will trip a racer make it more likely for a racer to trip so the randomness in the race comes from the timers it comes from when they're bursting next it comes from tripping it comes from how long they trip for it comes from how long they burst for there's probably going to be some math to see if the snail is actually worse but i suppose we can look at you, you look at results of the race is there any other difference between the races so race index of three we saw differences of that race index of two gravity if race index is two that's shoe biscuit we might put a pin in the racing for now because there's a lot here to interpret and i don't have all the answers right now does reward for winning ever change yes we can have a look at that we want winner we want race winner can okay, just do a search for winner and now it's winner collect race prizes that looks like what we want good definition there collect race prizes special rewards okay each player can get a special reward of 100 calico eggs looks like first time that you win get 100 otherwise you get 20. so first time in you get 100 so you, is that 120 the first time we win a bonus 100 and when is this reset each day you get 100 bonus each day the races look to be unseated you're not passing in a random it is completely random you can't predict it all right what next outfits yeah let's have a look at the at the outfits make over outfits make over outfits is a file random seed override create day save random can you only do this once per day can make another day and we'll put together a fresh new look yeah only do this once per day okay cool day save random is seeded so the outfit that you get is seeded mousey pounds can predict the races that race not the winner predicts the desert vendors and it lets you know what item you're going to get what makeover you're going to get and then the the makeover outfits that is just a file makeover outfits.json and there are parts dark ball cap skeleton shirt tight pants hey that's the one i got dinosaur hat red striped shirt dinosaur pants a beanie a classy top a dress so the combinations that you get are set and the one that you get is seeded to the file and the day that you go there are a lot of a lot of them wow and if you're after a specific one you might not be able to get it elsewhere oh keep going back to the desert uh, the vendors we saw that those were seeded and each person has a specific item a list of items they can get i have a list of that boom there we go zoom in on that 
Yeah, so every marriageable candidate has their original weapon. Emily wasn't an original marriageable candidate, so she didn't have an original weapon. 500 eggs gives you a prismatic shard. That is steep. 5 give you a sea urchin. 25 give you cloth. Maru gives you reading bars. There's limits over here for, for ones of them. Unlimited prismatic shards if you can get 500 eggs for them. Hardwood. 3 eggs each. 5 stars for 20 each. Radio Desk Model Planes Coffee. Pier, you can purchase up to 200 eggs for 150 G each, which could be useful, potentially. Wheat flour oil, squid, just a plain old squid. Maple bar, Jojo Cola. <laughs> Seb's lost mace. Well, he hasn't lost it if he's selling it. Alex's bat, pancakes. These are the ingredients for complete breakfast. Caroline sells some green tea. Caroline sells some tea saplings. That's interesting, you don't need to get two hearts with her to get tea saplings. You'll need the recipe still, if you want to mass produce them. Let's go, go lobs of beef, squidding ravioli, clam parmesan, just some food to eat. Crab, squid ink, pink cake, nautilus shell, that can be a, a nice one. Thinking of like earliest community centre completion, Sea urchin means that you don't need to get a fish pond for it or for the nautilus shell. Spice berry. These new remixed bundles. It may be possible. And traffic cart changed. I need to rewrite my searches for earliest possible remixed without dynamic seeds. I pretty much had it routed a 1.5 dynamically seeded earliest community center with remix bundles and i think i'll complete that within two weeks but i ran out of time on 1.5 i i routed that in the middle of the earliest crobus run things like this might make it interesting to rerun again having it earliest remixed without dynamic seeds would be interesting to look for banana sapling from leo is an interesting one I believe Leo has to have been met first, or he has to have moved to the valley before he's considered. I can't remember which. Uh, artifact troves, interesting morale. Truffle oil from Marnie, of course. Shane sells eggs, up to a dozen eggs. Rabbit's foot, berry seeds. Does that do anything? No, the, the fairy rose is potentially in the, in the garden bundle, which is part of the pantry room if you get the fairy seeds early you need the greenhouse but you need it to unlock the greenhouse rabbit's foot interesting but you can get that from serpents anyway vincent a single piece of fiber three pieces of bug meat a single piece of sap a single cave carrot 20 pieces of clay and a couple of artifacts little head fern but it's from kent he won't be there the first year i believe then strawberry seeds magic rock candy only on the Wednesday. Strawberry seeds on the Monday or the Wednesday. It's cheaper on the Wednesday. Mixed seeds on the Tuesday. Different furniture. And the uh, spicy old crab cakes, egg, plant, parmesan, pumpkin soup, lucky lunch. Random one of those. So there's not really a lot in here that makes any of the challenge runs easier other than the spice berry. And if you got to meet you, you grab the Nola shell at the same time. And potentially the sea urchin as well. Everything else, you've got other ways of doing it. Okay, shall we look at the Skull Cavern itself? What has changed within the Skull Cavern itself? I want to have a look to see what possible statues there are. And are they seeded, or is that just random as to what shows up when? Potentially could be seeded to the floor. That would be interesting. Let's have a look. Locations, mine, sharp. So there's a Calico Air Grating. The, this Calico Air Grating increases every five falls to go down and activating a statue. We'll look at that later. Let's look at Calico Statues. Where is that set up? Populate level. So if it's not a infested floor and you're in the Desert Festival and you're in the Skull Caverns and you haven't added one to this floor and Object Pause, where does that come from? This is part of adding barrels. Okay, so it's got the, it's part of the barrel logic. 50% chance to add in the first place. Zero to four 
adjusted by daily luck try to bring it into the map the first barrel that is going to be added is a statue you get more statues on high daily luck days luck from buffs doesn't affect it no but luck from daily luck does for getting them to spawn fun it's added as a barrel it replaces the first barrel a specific check for calico statue make sure nothing can spawn underneath it activate calico statue that looks like what we want calico statue activated excluding the container platforms if you see barrels on the floor then you know that there's a statue somewhere okay activate open box calico egg icon timer shake add to your egg rating adjust the total calico statues activated today the effects that you get are seeded to the number of statues that you've activated so you can't skip over a bad floor you have a set order of of bonuses of effects that you get over the day what's this daily luck so create the random do a check adjusted by daily luck try add calico statue effect 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 there's a lot here random chance which try add 10 try to add 17 try to add 12 try to add 15 try to add 16 try to add 14 try add 11 why is this not in a data file it's all very hard coded if it's none of those then add 13 so that's if you get in here we'll have a look at what these effects are soon then 20 percent chance which is 0 1 2 or 3 and if you haven't got that one added already then add it okay so zero one two or three looks to be special ones it's a weird way of doing it if they all have been added then you're just doing 30 runs through this for no reason and then four nine five six seven eight then add 13. okay what are the effects then add calico statue effect to the team let's go to the data file find the actual text for these where are the text for these where have you gone dangerously funny mine color coast statue description there's a festival mine it wasn't there Went right past it okay so there are 17 in total so 18 in total including zero zero indexed you got a name and you got a description ghost invasion more ghosts serpent invasion more serpents skeleton invasion skeletons are after you bat invasion more bats those were the first four those ones were in here so you have to fail that chance and then it's those ones there these are the ones that once they're activated they activate thin shells lose more eggs when you're knocked out don't get knocked out meager meals food is half as effective hopefully that one doesn't stack more monsters more monsters sharp teeth monsters do more damage curse of the tomb mummies have become angry magical shoes speed boost full refresh full refresh 50 egg treasure 50 calico eggs no effect no effect so 13 is a no effect one tooth file monsters do less damage <laughs> sharp teeth that do more you can the tooth file they do less 25 egg 10 egg 100 egg there's going to be a lot of math that needs to be done on these to find out the actual charts for each of these especially on daily luck this is seeded as well i wonder what kind of seeds you can find for good combinations this first slot 10 17 12 15 16 shucks it is really hard to see let's do this let's just add on some new lines so you get zero through three in here four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay so they are all here so effects can stack so zero through three can't stack can i split my view and have this up here yeah that's going to be a bit easier for this so four can't stack so you don't get multiple assassin bugs you don't get multiple thin shells i'm assuming that once you have the effect it just returns false yep so then i'll go on to the trying to add the next one in 
Mega Meals doesn't stack, that's good. Seven, more monsters can stack. Imagine finding a seat that has a whole bunch of more monsters. That would be fun. If you leave and re-enter, do you keep the statue buffs? That's something to look at. Eight, sharp teeth does stack. So assassin bugs, curse of the tomb, thin shells, mega meals, sharp teeth, more monsters. These are all negative effects. And the one that's affected by daily luck, I'm assuming this is all gonna be positive effects. 10, magical shoe, speed boost, positive. 17, 100 egg treasure, well, yes. 50 egg treasure, yes. Why is that so separated? 25 egg treasure, 10 egg treasure. Positive tooth file, must do less damage. Yep, that can stack. 10 speed boost, that only happens once. You only get one speed boost for that. Uh, and 11, full refresh. These are the positive ones, with a chance attached to each of those. These ones are, well these ones are negative, and these ones are negative. And then the fallback for each of these is no effect. Not tied to floor, tied to the number of statues you have previously activated. So each day has a set order that it will go through. Interesting, okay, how are each of these actually used? Are they removed when you leave? the caverns. Calico statue effects, let's look at references for that again. Okay, is there something that clears them? Day update, they get cleared on the day update. Clear, clear inactive mines. If no mines are active, then they get cleared. In multiplayer, you can keep the effects going. If you keep someone in any mines this includes this includes the regular mines but if you're single player as soon as you leave you lose all the effects okay the more monsters one that one stacked didn't it yeah i was thinking that you might be able to get more monsters and then reset floor one over and over for the hunting monsters that way unfortunately not the case you leave it gets cleared okay we were looking at statue effects and how they're actually used Adjust level chances. Invasion. Invasion IDs. Calico statue invasion IDs. 3012. Yeah, those are those first four ones again. If you have it, then the chance is increased by invasion amount. Those ones didn't stack. That's always just one. The chance is increased by 0.01. Invasion ID. For each invasion ID in there, monster chance it hasn't chosen the monster at this point it's just the monster chance the overall monster chance okay so getting these is just going to give you more monsters anyway and then final modifier monster surge mount final modifier starts at one adds on 0.2 for each time you've got more monsters up here and then that gets modified that's a multiply there times equals what your final modifier is so yeah that could increase it quite a bit but yeah those first four ones is always going to increase the monster chance that must be used further downwards as well when looking at these specific monsters okay populate level calico statue invasion id so those are those first four ones again okay monster to add if you're in the desert festival so what does this one normally do this is just normally adding Adding monsters. Do you know if monster must stack with the monster increases the statue gives? I believe it does. So this monster chance. So you got the base monster chance there. Adjust level chances. So monster chance gets set to that. And adjust by additional difficulty. Has spawned monsters buff. This is where monster musk is used. And it doubles it here. So it doubles it in adjust level chances. But it looks to be that it is... The calico statues are done after. So that's where it's doubled. And this is where it's added to... Yeah, it's done after the doubling from monster musk. We could ask for it to be done later. Or for the calico statue stuff to be done earlier so that we can take advantage of the monster musk for that but currently monster musk is done before so this is just added on at the end 
However, final modifier, this is, it's a multiplication here. So if this has already been doubled, then it is effectively doubling these numbers as well. Not for these invasions, but yes, for the for the surge. Funnily enough, if you're in a quarry area, monster chance gets reset. So if you're in the quarry, or if you have the quarry style mine in the regular mines, it gets reset to two. Monster must doesn't affect the skulls and that. Monster must doesn't affect haunted skulls. But yeah, with the way that math works with multiplying that there, so that gets added, but this gets multiplied. Cool. Okay, so now we're looking at where this was used come down here so go through those specific calico statue invasion of these again let's see so 15 percent chance that if we have the bat one add the bat if we have the ghost one add the ghost if we have the serpent one add a serpent not royal serpent the bat that you add was tied to the mine level that you get the ghost will always be a carbon ghost the serpent will always be regular serpent not a royal serpent and if the skeleton one is at 33 percent chance to be a haunted skull and the rest to be a skeleton buffed hard mode so if you have multiple of those then it's a 50 percent chance all the way through it's in a set order and that order is 3012 3012 it's the order that you see here tries for bats first tries for ghosts next tries for serpents tries for skeletons so that's where those specific statue ones come in so the monsters in general happen in that adjust level chances the most specific ones happen in there cool speed if you are in these skull caverns and you have that effect and it's not already applied to you then and only then does that apply get monster for the level if you're in the desert festival and you're in the mines there and you contain nine which is curse of the tomb mummies become angry then if you're adding a mummy buff it for two additional difficulty two additional difficulties extra damage to you and there's extra health goodness look at that health buff <laughs> this hard mode monster is true yes they are extra angry <laughs> and they move faster set monster texture to change this version oh yes you better <laughs> If you're in a desert festival and you have the assassin bug, then it's a new new one in there. Okay, let's peek into there. String special type. If it contains assassin, then 50 damage to farmer. Health is set to 500 and it has extra speed. Cool. Clear and active mines that get cleared. Yep. Constructors. Add the effects or that. Take damage. Sharp teeth. You add on an extra 25%. Per sharp teeth, you reduce 25% per tooth file. So if you get four tooth files, then they do no damage at all. Moments can be as angry as they want. They'll do one damage. Okay, what was this one? Five. Then shells. Egg percent to remove, 20. Egg percent to remove, 50. 20%, 50%. If you have six, that was the mega meals, then the effects are halved. So I've seen all of those, so we saw we saw those four, we saw assassin bugs, we saw thin shells, saw mega meals, saw more monsters, saw sharp teeth, curse of the tomb, maybe they became angry, yes we saw that one, <laughs> magical shoes, yep we saw that, full refresh, we didn't see that one, that's going to be in farmer team, add calico statue effect, full refresh was 11, and calico effect added, oh yep this is the one we didn't see, when it gets added, add 10 eggs, add 25 eggs, add 50 eggs, add 100 eggs, Get set to max. Apply the speed buff. Okay, so sort of refresh, no effect, no effect. Saw the tooth file and we saw the treasures. We have seen how all of the calico statues work and what it actually means in the code. And we've seen that the order of the statue effects that you get is seeded and set to the day. Not to the floor number, to the day. And they replaced the first barrel that was going to be added to the floor. Okay, so that's the Calico statue effects. We also, before we leave the Desert Festival, we also have the egg rating. Calico egg. You have a Calico egg stone. And a Calico egg skull cavern rating. So this here, create litter object. I believe this here is just placing down a, a stone. Stone color. Chance for purple stone, chance for missing stone, stem 
gemstone charts. This is plonking down stone. If you're in the skull caverns, then witch stone charts for ore. This is the code that I looked at to make the iridium charts spreadsheet. So basically I put all of this math into the spreadsheet so you can control things like my level and see what that does. So see how charts for ore changes, iridium boost, see how that changes. There are things changing here, charts for iridium, charts for gold, charts for iron. It does all these calculations, does some math. But before it has a chance to use any of the stuff, if you're in the desert festival, then base of 13% chance plus your skull cavern rating times five divided by a thousand. So for each cavern rating that you have, then it adds on 0 0.005. So this here doesn't use your mine level. It doesn't use the mine level, it uses your egg rating. So that plus 0 0.005 per rating. So the higher your skull cavern rating, the higher this chance is, then it puts down a stone. Before it rolls for iridium, gold, iron, copper, it's the first thing that it places. So it's replacing ores. It's got a hit a chance for it is an ore and it's the first thing that gets rolled. The calico egg stones affect my mining bus or have a look at that. Uh, there's no daily luck or luck level used in these calculations. But yes, calico egg stones are treated as ore for the purposes of spawning them and it is done before iridium. So the deeper you go, the higher your egg rating is, the less iridium you're going to see. Now, are uh, they treated as ores? It's a good question. Let's have a look to see where the drops for those are. And that is in the game location. Breakstone. Added ores. So if you have minor, then added ores is one. If you have the dwarf statue or buff, then you add one to that. So if you have both minor and the dwarf are one, added ores is two. Stone ID 95 drop 909. 909 is radioactive ore. So radioactive ore gets affected by added ores. 843, 844, drop 848. 848 is cinder shard. Cinder shard gets affected by miner and the dwarf. 25 isn't muscle stones. Muscle stones not affected by miner, not affected by the dwarf statue. 816817 chance to drop 823 824 always drop 881 what are these fossilized leg fossilized ribs 881 take a guess at what that is did you guess bone fragment bone fragments from the stone from the bone nodes at the dig site on ginger island is affected by miner and by the dwarf statue 818 We'll drop 330. Clay. The clay rocks are affected by miner and by the dwarf statue. 845, 846, 847, 670, 668 is affected by miner and the dwarf statue. 390 and 382. 390 is stone and 382 is coal. So interestingly enough, the coal drop is affected by miner. Now these stones here, 845, 846, 847, 670, 668, these are the grey rocks in the mines and also every volcano rock. Miner and the dwarf statue will give you extra stone and if it drops coal, extra coal from those rocks. Okay, added was 849, 751 drops 378. What is 378? 378 is copper ore so yes you'd expect miner and the dwarf statue to work on copper on iron coal nodes here's your coal nodes it does drop extra coal from coal nodes and the gold nodes volcano gold node volcano didn't get its own unique gold node sprite in 1.5 but it does now 765 this is for the iridium node because there's also this chance to drop a prismatic now, Calico Egg Stone, 0, 1, and 2, does not use added ores when determining its drop. It does use luck level and mining level like all the other ones do as well, including the coal nodes. Calico Egg Stones do not drop extra from miner or from the dwarf statue buff. Cool. I believe we are done with the Desert Festival. Egg Racing Rewards. Okay, there's a go. Got prize. Haven't got the prize today. Highest Calico Egg Racing today. Okay, if your highest egg rating is over 1,000, then you hear a voice in your head. It would be dishonorable to submit an egg rating required through the use of cheat code software. If you legitimately get 1,000 or more, you get accused of cheating. Well, there's a challenge. 
I don't know if it's possible. If you are staircasing, if you're straight staircasing, you need to get to floor 5000. I can't tell you off the top of my head what the record for that is. If you have 55 or over, then you get the shocked face and you get 500 eggs. If you get 25, if you get less than 55 but more than 25, you get 200. And Gil's hat as an extra prize, if you haven't got it already. Why don't you get that up here? Otherwise, 253. What's 253? Triple shot espresso. Otherwise, between 20 and 25, 100 eggs, triple shot, 553, 50 eggs, up to 15, triple shot, 25 eggs, 10 eggs, 395, that's coffee. Less than five, you get one egg and a 243, which is a miner's treat. So there your prizes, there your arranges. Less than five, one egg and a miner's treat. Otherwise, less than 10, yeah, 10 eggs and a coffee. Otherwise, less than 15, 25 eggs and a triple shot. Otherwise, less than 20, 50 eggs, three triple shots. Otherwise, less than 2,500 eggs, five triple shots. Otherwise, less than 55, 200 eggs and a hat or five triple shots. Otherwise, less than 1,000, 500 eggs and what was that? Magic rock candy. Okay, there your prizes. Thank you.